welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. You always got such a happy smile yeah. on your face every time we do. You love doing this channel. Yeah. I love that. It makes yeah. me happy inside. That voice wakes me right up. <laughs> yeah, don't try to fall asleep on us on a loop. That's not going to work too well. You might sleep for about eight minutes and then you're like, wake up! But I have noticed something or other, and I wanted to see if, if you've noticed this as well. And what I wrote down on the list uh, to talk about today, have you noticed, for lack of a better way to put it, that you've outgrown some of your customers? Yeah, I could see that. Sure. Yeah. And, and what does it mean when I say that? Well, for me, mm -hmm. I, mean, I think I outgrown my customers years ago where when we started getting 50,000 listings, 100,000 listings, and they don't want to look through all the listings, and they don't want to go to our store. And they just, they just want to, like, type in... You know, Uncle Scrooge DVD Volume One, and they want it to pop up, not surfing through pages and pages and pages, and they don't know how to go to advanced seller search and all that stuff. So that's my interpretation of what you're talking about. Okay, and my interpretation of what I'm talking about is a little bit different, and that's I, I think we both would agree that our business plans have changed over time. All right, see so where you're going with this. Higher priced items. There you go. Yeah, we got rid of my one uh, big horse. I was spending tons of money, and well, my product started getting more expensive, and it doesn't buy anymore. Yep. But okay. Other, but other people come in and buy the product instead. Yep. And that's exactly what I've seen. There was somebody, a lovely woman, that used to buy a lot of uh, books and things like that off of me back in the day uh, with religious themes, and that was back in the day when you know I'd be charging eight dollars on a book or you know twelve dollars on a book, and she would make me an offer of six dollars or four dollars. Yeah. But she was buying. 15 items at a time. Right. So her entire bill would be, you know, $112 with shipping, but I'd be moving 15 items out, and I was happy to do it because, you know, yeah. maybe my price on them was $200. And it's like, okay, I got $112. Right. Uh, I'm happy to move the stuff out because it's been sitting there a while. And about every three to six months, she would go through and she would make me a bunch of offers on stuff. And, you know, the clockwork, I'd sell a whole bunch of stuff to her. Yeah. I think she's bought one item for me in like the last six to seven years. Jeez. Um, there's another gentleman that would come in all the time, and he would buy a lot of the things. Um, he was of Chinese descent, I believe. I mean, had an, had a Asian sounding name, um, but he was buying everything he bought had to do with China, and he would buy a bunch of stuff from me, and I don't think I've seen him making an offer to me in the last six months, probably. I think what ended up happening is, I think he picked off all of the lower priced items out of my store, right. or made me offers on them. You know, and if I'm asking fifteen on it, and it's been in there for for five years, and he's offering me, you know, eight dollars, and he's buying yeah. three items. Okay, yeah, I got forty five. You're offering me twenty four. Mm -hmm. One of them had shipping on it because it was so old. So right. yeah, I'm getting twenty eight out of forty five. Yeah, I'll take it because they've been in there for five years. Sure. Well, then he, he'll go and he would make a. a $12 offer on a $32 magazine and I would just turn it down. I might counter him and say, look, I need 22 out of this. I appreciate right. your business, but I need 22. And he just stopped uh -huh. buying from me. Um, yeah. Now, then the question comes, of course, which, which has crossed my mind before. What do you think happens to these customers? I think they find other eBayers for a short period of time where they can get cheap stuff from them and deal with them for a while and get some deals and then they move on. They the move on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or it just dies out where everyone's charging more or their product's getting harder to find, you know. But, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I just kind of wonder if other people out there have noticed this as well. Um, it is – it's sad not to have the customers like that because, again, they were both reliable customers, and, and I was making money off them. Um, and they were cleaning up a lot of old stock, which I definitely did appreciate as well, getting you know getting rid of the stuff that was there. But the other side of things, I can't sell, you know, as my costs have gone up, um, which they definitely have from packing materials, and I've got the free shipping, so my postage costs go up. The one gentleman lived in California, so it would be the maximum shipping on everything. Um, the amounts that I'm paying for stuff have gone up and, and so on. All of a sudden, it becomes where you can't make any money at $10 on a magazine. You just, you're not well, making any money. Another thing in our defense, we're not paying 50 cents to a dollar like we used to on right. things. Now I'm paying $2, two dollars to $5. Yeah. And I'm paying, you know, for quality stuff, I have to step up and pay more, you know. Um, but yeah, it's just the name of the game. So you're going to lose 
do I want to use the word bottom feeders? Or, you know, you, you want the cheap skates, whatever you want to call them, but you, you're going to lose them. The bargain but, hunters. Yeah, there you go. Nice way to say it. But, yeah, you're going to lose them. And it's, then well, they, you know, when you move on and, you know, you get other customers that want to pay the money for the quality stuff. Well, and the other side of that as well is they might not have bought a lot of the stuff off me back in the day because I may not have, they may not have known that they wanted it. And by that I mean, now if it's taking me five minutes to list a magazine because I'm going through it, and as I go through it, I say, oh my goodness gracious, this has, I do say it all the time, oh my goodness gracious, um, as I'm going through it, it has some um, rare photo of Mao. Mm-hmm. So now I'm listing it has the rare photo of Mao, you know, oh, you know, Mao, yeah. and this gentleman who collects the Chinese stuff, sees it. Well, years ago, I wouldn't have gone through it to see the photo of Mao right. because he was in a news section. Yeah. And I would have just gone right off what was on the cover. Mm-hmm. So he never would have seen it in the first place. So now it's almost like I need to get compensated for the extra time that I'm putting into sure. it to even note that he's in there because right. my competition, for the most part, is not doing that either. Um, you know, So may- maybe he's buying that off my competition based off of my work. He may in some cases be doing that, that, oh, I didn't know that the uh, July 31st, 1957 Time Magazine had this, and he may find somebody else that has it for $8 that just right. listed, you know, whatever's on the cover. Sure. I was bumper crop. <laughs> and he's going, oh, I'll buy it off this guy because it's got the same contents. Right, yeah. So he may be, he may be profiting off my work, and, and, you know, good for him as far as that goes. That's just smart on his part. Um, if he doesn't want to pay the thirty-two dollars or twenty-five dollars for me, you know, good good for him. He's adding to his collection off of my work. Yeah. But that's another reason why we can no longer do that. All of our expenses have gone up, and I value my time more than I did back sure. fifteen years ago. Fifteen years ago, I I did not have forty thousand back items to list. I was True. listing pretty much everything I had, or or close to everything that I had, just to get it on, just to move it on out because I didn't have a back stock of items. Right. Now I can pick and choose and list some better stuff, but I need to get a little higher prices off it as well. Sure. So wondering if you've outgrown your customers or not, just to kind of, I've never heard any other reseller talking about this, so I, I can't believe it just happens to the two of us. Uh, let us know how that, um, how that worked out for you and how you've reconciled that. And again, it's sad to see good customers go, but things change. I mean, they, yeah. they absolutely do change and they're, you know, I can't sell things at a loss or, or for almost no profit whatsoever just because, not right. on a regular basis, unless it's something really, really old, which mm-hmm. is a different story, but I think they've picked through yeah. my older stuff and gotten what they need out of there. So do hit the like button. would appreciate that. Hopefully you have an outgrown hitting that, and we will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.